Hello future lawyers and welcome back to Pinay Jurist on YouTube. Let us have a quick review on the Declaration of Nullity of Void Marriages and Annulment of Voidable Marriages, the grounds, the form, the venue, and important jurisprudence. Let's get started. The following are void marriages. 1. Absence of any formal or essential requisites. 2. Bigamous and polygamous marriages. 3. Those contracted through mistake of one party as to the identity of the other. 4. Bad faith of both spouses in the subsequent marriage. 5. Psychologically incapacitated spouse. 6. Void subsequent marriages. 7. Incestuous marriages. and 8. Void by reason of public policy. Voidable marriages, Article 4 of the Family Code states that a defect in any of the essential requisites shall render the marriage voidable as provided in Article 45. The essential requisites of marriage under Article 2 of the Family Code are 1. Legal capacity of the contracting parties who must be a male and a female and 2. Consent freely given in the presence of a solemnizing officer. Administrative matter number 02-11-10-SC, otherwise known as the Rule on Declaration of Absolute Nullity of Void Marriages and Annulment of Voidable Marriages, dated March 4, 2003, provides... The petition shall be filed in the family court of the province or city where the petitioner or the respondent has been residing for at least six months prior to the date of filing, or in the case of non-resident respondent where he may be found in the Philippines at the election of the petitioner. It shall be filed in six copies and the petitioner shall serve a copy of the petition on the Office of the Solicitor General and the Office of the City or Provincial Prosecutor within five days from the date of its filing and submit to the court proof of such service within the same period. Verification and Certification Against Forum Shopping Requirement The petition must be verified and accompanied by a certification against forum shopping. The verification and certification must be signed personally by the petitioner. No petition may be filed solely by counsel or through an attorney in fact. Petitioner shall attach a sworn statement of counsel of record that he or she has personally verified petitioner's residency and that petitioner had been residing thereat for at least six months prior to the filing of the petition. Section 7 of Administrative Matter 02-11-10-SC prohibits the filing of a motion to dismiss in actions for annulment of marriage. All the best, future lawyers. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!